Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. And today I'm going to show you guys how to truss a turkey. I'm so super excited because if you guys haven't seen my other two videos, which is a part of my three-part series of how to make a more delicious turkey, then go ahead and check it out. But we have really brined our turkey, we seasoned it, and it's ready to go. This bird is about to bake right now. So the last thing we have to do is trust it. So we're going to trust it to make sure that it doesn't fall apart. And then when you're serving it for your guests, you look professional, right? All right, so let's get started. So I'm using butcher twine. Uh, I got this from Michael's, but you guys can go to your meat market and see if they have it. Or you can get it from like a dollar store. If you can't find it there, then I'll leave a link below um, so you guys can get it online. So I already have some here that I like kind of measured out. The more the better, because if you have too much, then you can just cut it off. But if you don't have enough, you have to start over. So I'm going to just cut it like so. All right, put that to the side. Now let's get it started. So what you want to do is kind of like measure out where the center of the twine to start with the wing. I'm going to take that. going to take it under and cross it okay so now it's crossed pull it close to you then you're going to take it up like this the butcher's twine and you're going to take the two legs and you're going to put them together like this and you're going to wrap the legs with the butcher's one. Okay. I like to do each side. So after I wrap that part twice, I'm gonna wrap it with this part twice. Even to be a little extra, make sure it's secured. Cause you wanna make sure all the seasonings and the herbs you put in inside is not gonna fall out during baking. And that your turkey holds a beautiful form. All right, so now, we're going to just put a, a knot in that, and you can see that it's tightened, perfect. So now you want to take a scissors and just cut off the excess string, okay? Any excess string, I'm gonna just cut that off, okay? So now this is perfect. Our turkey is gonna hold form. In addition, the um, inside of the all the herbs that are inside, they're going to stay in there. Uh, I don't recommend that you cook your stuffing inside. One, it doesn't taste good. Two, it doesn't cook properly. So just cook your stuffing on the side. And then if you want, you could put it in there. But um, I have a great stuffing recipe anyway. So you can check that out as well. All right, guys. So this is how you trust a turkey. All right, guys. So this is how you trust a turkey. If you've done it and you completed it, you should be proud of yourself. So, yeah. So now, I'm going to take the turkey, and this is what I do. I take my turkey, and I bake it upside down, just like that. And that's how I put it inside the oven. Okay? And then, once it's almost finished cooked, I turn it over. And this way, the driest part of the turkey that most people complain about is sitting in juice the whole time. So it's moist and tender when you're ready to eat. So let's get this in the oven, all right? And I'll show you guys the finished product of our three portions. All right, guys, so I'm super excited. We're back with the finished product of our roasted turkey. As you can see, the skin is so crispy because of the butter. And it's just to go to perfection. I'm so excited to dig in. So I'm glad that you guys have tuned in to my three-part series of how to make the perfect turkey. It's moist, it's tender, and it's well seasoned. I want you guys to comment, like, subscribe, and go visit MissGreenKitchen.com for all of my recipes. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!